Moon Knight episode one from somebody that doesn't follow the comics and doesn't know what Moon Knight character is within the comics. Okay, first thing, first thoughts, entertaining episode. We rode along with the main character trying to figure out what was going on. It became evident that he possibly had a split personality that was taking over things and doing really good. So that was kind of obvious, but what was he getting into? We sort of rode along with him. We felt in a way kind of like him that we didn't know what was going on in any of the situations that he found himself in. So in that sense, it dragged us along for the ride. Uh, now, from the point of view of being chased within that first episode, and he magically just does a little shimmy, and we don't see how he got out of that. I call that a dirty cheat, a little bit like Annie Wilkes in Misery. It's a dirty cheat. He's gotten himself into a terribly tough situation, and you'd like to think that even a skilled person couldn't get out of it, and he does a little bit of a shimmy, or the camera zooms in, there's a little bit of a time phase, and next thing you know, he's out of trouble. Now, why the guy who got him out of trouble didn't stay in control don't really know. Okay, so a little bit of a, it was intriguing and it was, it was, I suppose, in a way grabbing why he was where he was, but a little bit of a dirty cheat to me. Uh, in the museum, he runs away and he doesn't just run away and leave the museum. He doesn't run away and get additional security to say, hey, look, here's some bad guys who tried to do something or whatever it was they tried to do. He just runs away and then it ends up going back to work. He's seen this guy can, I guess, steal someone's soul or remove their soul. And when he runs away, he doesn't do anything other than just go back to work. So is that real? Would he have done that? Well, a normal person might not have. So I suppose in that sense, we can give him a little bit of a pass in that he's not quite a normal person. So maybe his actions were legitimate for a person who is a little bit like him. But as far as the episode goes, entertainment value, yeah, we kind of figured out that we weren't really going to see Moon Knight do an awful lot, just enough to keep us hooked and to drag us into the next episode to say, yes, look, he is Moon Knight after all, and come and watch episode two. So episode one, in a nutshell, was entertaining and a little bit captivating just to keep us going through episode one into episode two. And of course, that's the job of the episode is to keep you watching to the next minute, the next minute, the next minute, and the next episode. And I think episode one did that very well.